Another day and another great time to read the Word of God. Thank you, friends, for coming. This is the Nameless Preacher. Today we have reached in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 48 and verse 1. And that's where we begin with God's help. Thank you for being here. Jeremiah 48 and 1. Against Moab, thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Woe unto Nebo, for it is spoiled. Kirith Athium is confounded and taken. Misgab is confounded and dismayed. There shall be no more praise of Moab and Heshbon. They have devised evil against it. Come and let us cut it off from being a nation. Also thou shalt be cut down, O madman. The sword shall pursue thee. A voice crying shall be from Heronium, spoiling and great destruction. Moab is destroyed. Her little ones have caused a cry to be heard. For in the going up of Luith, continual weeping shall go up. For in the going down of Heronium, the enemies have heard a cry of destruction. Flee, save yourselves, and be like the heath in the wilderness. For because thou hast trusted in thy works and in thy treasures, thou shalt also be taken in Kamosh. Shall Go forth into captivity with his priests and his princes together, and the spoiler shall come up every city, and no city shall escape. The valley also shall perish, and the plain shall be destroyed, as the Lord has spoken. Give wings unto Moab, that it may flee and get away, for the cities thereof shall be desolate, without any to dwell therein. Cursed be he that doeth the work of the Lord deceitfully, and cursed be he that keepeth back his sword from blood. Moab hath been at ease from his youth, and hath settled on his lees, and hath not been emptied from vessel to vessel, neither hath he gone into captivity. Therefore his taste remained in him, and his scent is not changed. Therefore, behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will send unto him wanderers, that shall cause him to wander, and shall empty his vessels, and break their bottles. And Moab shall be ashamed of Kamosh, as the house of Israel was ashamed of Bethel their confidence. How say ye, we are mighty and strong men for the war? Moab is spoiled and gone up out of the cities, and his chosen young men are gone down to the slaughter, saith the king, whose name is the Lord of hosts. The calamity of Moab is near to come, and his affliction hastes fast. All ye that are about him bemoan him, and all ye that know his name say, How is the strong staff broken, and the beautiful rod? Thou daughter that dost inhabit the bond, come down from thy glory, and sit in thirst, for the spoiler of Moab shall come upon thee, and he shall destroy thy strongholds. O inhabitant of Aurora, stand by the way and espy, ask him that fleeth, and her that escapeth, and say, What is done? Moab is confounded, for it is broken down. Howl and cry, and tell ye it in Arnon, that Moab is spoiled. And judgment is come upon the plain country, upon Holon, and upon Jehaza, and upon Mephihath, and upon Debon, and upon Nebo, and upon Beth Diblamatham, and upon Kiriathium, and upon Beth Gamal, and upon Beth Meon and upon Kirioth, and upon Basra, and upon the cities of the land of Moab, far or near. The horn of Moab is cut off, and his arm is broken, saith the Lord. Make him drunken, for he hath magnum fied himself against the Lord. Moab also shall wallow in his vomit, and he also shall be in derision. For was not Israel a derision unto thee? Was he found among thieves? For since thou speakest of him, thou skippest for joy. O ye that dwell in Moab, leave the cities and dwell in the rock, and be like the dove that maketh her nest in the sides of the hole's mouth. We have heard the pride of Moab, he is exceeding proud. His loftiness and his arrogancy and his pride and the haughtiness of his heart. I know his wrath, saith the Lord, but it shall not be so. His lie shall not so affect it. Therefore will I howl for Moab, and I will cry out for Moab. Mine heart shall mourn for the men of Kerhirs. O vine of Simma, I will weep for thee with the weeping of Jazer. Thy plants are gone over the sea. They reach even to the sea of Jazer. The spoiler is fallen upon thy summer fruits and upon thy vintage. And joy and gladness is taken from the plentiful field and from the land of Moab. And I have caused wine to fail from the wine presses. None shall tread with shouting. Their shouting shall no, be no shouting. From the cry of Heshbon even unto Eliela and even unto Jahaz. 
have they uttered their voices from Zoar even unto Horonium, as an heifer of three years old, for the waters also of Nimrim shall be desolate. Moreover, I will cause to cease in Moab, saith the Lord, him that offereth in the high places, and him that burneth incense to his gods. Therefore mine heart shall sound for Moab like pipes, and mine heart shall sound like pipes for the men of Kerhears, because the riches that he hath gotten are perished. For every head shall be bald, and every beard clipped upon all the hands shall be cuttings, and upon the loin sackcloth. There shall be lamentation generally upon all the housetops of Moab, and in the streets thereof. For I have broken Moab like a vessel, wherein is no pleasure, saith the Lord. They shall howl, saying, How is it broken down? How hath Moab turned the back with shame? So shall Moab be a derision and a dismaying to all them about him. For thus saith the Lord, Behold, he shall fly as an eagle, and he shall spread his wings over Moab. Kirioth is taken... And the strongholds are surprised, and the mighty men's heart in Moab at that day shall be as the heart of a woman in her pangs. And Moab shall be destroyed from being a people, because he hath magnified himself against the Lord. Fear and the pit and the snare shall be upon the own inhabitant of Moab, saith the Lord. He that fleeth from fear shall fall into the pit, and he that getteth up out of the pit shall be taken in the snare. For I will bring upon it, even upon Moab, the year of their visitation, saith the Lord. They that fled stood under the shadow of Heshbon because of the force, but a fire shall come from out of Heshbon, and a flame from the midst of Sion, and shall devour the corner of Moab, and the crown of the head of the tumultuous ones. Woe be unto thee, O Moab, the people of Kamosh perisheth, for thy sons are taken captives of thy daughters' captives. Yet will I bring again the captivity of Moab in the latter days, saith the Lord. Thus far is the judgment of Moab. Friends, thank you for coming. That was a lot longer chapter than we're used to. May the word of God be a blessing to us all. And may we consider how Moab is going to be judged.